What's up guys? This might be just a little bit of a long video because I'm going to brush up on some galaxy painting and how to do these awesome moon modern floral painting along with another brush up on how to paint a galaxy painting. So it's going to be a long video. Wasn't going to do it real time, but I sped it up as much as I can. What's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today I wanted to talk to you about acrylic painting and what you should do before you start an acrylic painting. The Christmas season is right upon us, or in general, any painting, this is going to be a huge thing for you guys. Now, I have this amazing modern florals. I've been totally into learning modern flor florals recently, just because of a bunch of a Pinterest, like Pinterest ideas and stuff. They've all been popping up on what to make for like Christmas gifts this year and everything. And I've been really into modern florals. I kind of branched out and did a little bit of gouache modern florals earlier um, this year during quarantine. I was really into like making my Posca pins flo uh, modern florals. And I even did like a tutorial on that a little while ago. But I have been totally into painting florals now. So I'm getting like the best of both worlds. I'm getting back into my acrylic painting. And then I'm also getting back into painting my beautiful modern florals and using my Posca pens. Now, what you see I'm doing right now is the most important thing that you can do for any painting. I don't care if it is a little teeny tiny thumbnail sketch or anything. Just grab a sketchbook. Grab a piece of computer paper and plan your paintings out. Yes, paint is really easy to manipulate, especially acrylic paint, because you can go in and you can paint over whatever you mess up on. But if you have more of an idea, then sketch it out. So you see, I've got a circle canvas ready to go that I bought from Hobby Lobby. It is, um, I think it's like a 11 by 10 circle canvas 11 by 10 no it's like it's like 11 by 14 yes it is considered to be an 11 by 14 circle canvas that I bought from Hobby Lobby it's by Masters Touch and what I'm doing here is I drew out my circle canvas and then I'm drawing out my color scheme and my idea my modern floral idea using that book how to draw modern florals by Ali Coke and then I'm going and I was laying out the color scheme so I can see where to put my flowers when I do my galaxy. Now, this is kind of a brush up on how to paint galaxy. This is my first layer and I'm going as slow as possible so you guys can understand a little bit more. This is my first layer. What I do with the first layer is I go in and I get my colors down. Now, I do mix in a little bit of my black paint and white paint to kind of dull down those colors and to darken those colors. And just mixing it in and getting a general idea of where I want my actual like color scheme of my galaxy to go. So you see, I've got a purple, a blue, a light blue, a black, and a white. That's all I'm using right now and I'm just mixing them in, but you wanna get your first layer down, let that first layer dry, and then jump in for a second layer. Now you can see that the brush that I'm using, the little blue brush that I'm using right now, is kind of like, it, it looks like a makeup brush, you know, eyeshadow makeup blush brush. <laughs> and I bought it from Michaels, and it's really fluffy, and it's becoming my blending brush. So right now, second layer, I, I don't have like pauses in between like waiting for each layer, but I get down at least four layers of galaxy and I stay within the color scheme. See how that blue makeup brush, I'm just going to call it a makeup brush, is blending in everything. And what I do is I wash it off, dry it off, and then go back in, blend it. Sometimes I leave the paint on the brush to kind of blend it in. It's all based on preference on how you like to blend in stuff but I would highly suggest getting like a horse hair I call it a horse hair brush it, it feels like it's made of straw and that's what I use that typical bristle of brush is what I use to blend stuff in and you see I've got this fluffy thing um I can actually tell you right now I'll pull this over here this is a Princeton brush it is a level two mixed media lunar mop it's called a lunar mop. This is so perfect because we're doing a galaxy and it's 1.3 centimeters. That is the brush that I'm using. It's, oh, it's a half, yeah, a half inch 
Yep, Lunar Mop looks like, um, and, and if you have like a spare eyeshadow brush, that'll work fine. <laughs> so the next thing I do is I actually learned a new technique that for the stars, grab the purple and the blue paint and put the blue stars onto the purple area and then the purple stars onto the blue area and then I grab my lunar mop brush once again and I go and I just kind of dab all those so you see it was sitting in my my cup I apologize for my desk I tried to make it as nice and neat as possible but there's only so much you can do <laughs> but yes so this is my desk and you see I've got my baby Yoda and a receipt on my desk but I'm so sorry so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go around and you put those dots on and then you kind of use your bristle brush to go in and just kind of like spread those out and then go on top of those areas that you kind of spread out earlier and then add see I'm going in I'm like kind of mixing in those different colors and those stars that I put down with my bristle brush and then after those are have dried I'm gonna go back in with some white stars individual stars I'm using just a regular paintbrush not using like the back end of it or anything I'm just using a paintbrush going in and putting my white stars on top of those like the stars I blotted out with my brush and going in and making them pop now another huge thing is don't forget to paint the sides of your canvas which I didn't do now and here's where I'm going in. I have my sketchbook where I can see it, my original sketch, and I'm going in with my white paint and I'm looking at my sketch and that's when I'm applying what I sketched out, my little thumbnail sketch, and I'm drawing out my flowers. This is where it's really important. So you see, I got my background done. Now, it's very important to do the background first completely and then worry about what your subject is. Now, your subject could be flowers like me. It could be a gingerbread man. It could be um, a mountain. It could be anything. But you want to go in, kind of let your background dry, and then attack the subject focal point of your painting. And that's what I'm doing. Let's talk about these modern floral flowers with the paint. What I do is I go in and I glob them on. I legit glob them on, but I glob the paint on really thick. Now, looking back at my original thumbnail sketch that I made in my sketchbook, I decided to put another purple flower on top of that blue area because I wanted the blue to be where the purple was. So I planned it to where the purple was popping on the blue background and then the blues were kind of popping like at the bottom one, that one that I'm working on now. I went ahead and I put it on the purple background just because, you know, it would really pop. So I didn't change up. I think I just changed the two top flowers to the right, but I kept the other two flowers that are separate from each other. Now, now you see I'm doing the second layer with the globbing of the paint and I'm getting a little bit of the texture in there of like, you know, flower petals and how they have their creases. I'm getting a little bit of that in. And I say, yeah, it's about two layers on each one. And just going, globbing it on and I make it darker towards the middle of the flower. So I make it, I put all the white paint where the top of my flower petals are and then I grab like where the petals are going downward, like overshadowed by something. Then that's when I put down my darker colors. And for leaves and stems of flowers, I usually go with a plain white or a black so that when I go in with my Posca pen and paint pens, that's when I can go in and I can line easier and those lines really pop. So that's why I have got like, you know, a lighter color to my white leaves, whether it's a light blue or if it's just a plain white or if it's light purple. I like to stay, I can't really say that I've gone outside the color scheme of purple, pastels, blue. I haven't done anything like natural looking. A lot of these flowers have been my galaxy flowers and that's what I'm getting ready to teach you on as soon as I'm done. So you see, any highlights that I can throw in there by adding a little bit of paint, wherever I think that the sun is hitting or your light source is hitting, like I'm lining with a white, 
then that's where I, I apply it and I wait for it to be almost dry but not exactly dry but then by this paint point here I have let it completely dry I hope you guys are understanding this <laughs> I'm trying to tell you the best that I can but it's just easier this way um so you see I'm going and putting in where my light source is hitting the petals, the tops of the petals, and letting the light hit those tops. And adding just a little bit some more shadows and everything. I do, with my little canvases I've been doing, I've been doing at least two layers. That's all I really, really need. So, but I see I, I just keep adding more and more layers wherever I think that they are needed. Now, with the modern florals, this is where I got like the technique from the book and inspiration on Pinterest. So you go in and you highlight just the lines and the outlines, like the inside of the outlines of the leaves and the petals. And that's what I learned from this Modern Florals book is um, it's all about very minimal lines and trying to accent what's already there. So by accenting the middle of my little moonflowers and just adding a little bit. This is actually based off the primrose flowers in the Modern Florals book. And you see I go in and I outline all the petals from the, the examples from the book. And then I go in and I add just a couple of the creases that I think are from the actual, like the natural creases of the petals of the flowers. And then I go in with my white Posca pen and I start adding stars. Now with my stars, oh, also I do go in and I kind of use my black Posca pen to just kind of accent a little bit more of the creases, but I, I go alongside of the white. I line with my white Posca pen, but I like to come in with my black Posca pen and to accent to make those white lines pop a little bit more. I don't line all the white lines. I just do a couple of them just so you can see that obviously here's the, here's the lines, here's the creases, here's the outline. That's what I'm going for. So I think I'm doing it. Okay. What I do here with the light, lighter colored flowers, I go in with my black Posca pen and only line them and then kind of come in and do like the opposite effect. So it's all about like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I go in with my black Posca pen and then I go in and I go underneath those main lines and I add little bits of whites and everything. So I switch it from my lighter colored flowers I'll use a black pen and then white lines and then with the darker ones I use my white Posca pens and then underline those with the black Posca pen if that makes any sense and then the final touches what I do is I go in with my white Posca pen and I add stars more so in the darker areas of the petals as opposed to the lighter side so I have more stars on the darker areas of my flowers because they pop more there as opposed to on the lighter parts. Now for this part here, I'm using the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful world of Maji Paji. <laughs> and I am accenting just a couple of places with some pretty fine aqua glitter that I found. And I actually really smudged this leaf big time and I actually have to go and fix that later on but I'm adding just bits and pieces to make it pop to really give it that galaxy effect so my Mod Podge it does smudge your Posca pen so if you have any acrylic based pens then they do smudge Mod Podge will smudge it and I'm going in and I'm finishing up just a couple more starry areas and I don't put stars on the leaves I have not wanted to do that but it really is based on preference whether you want to line with your white Posca pens or your black Posca pens or any kind of acrylic based paint pens I would not suggest using oil based pens so if you want to try this in the end do not buy sharpie don't do it there are plenty of acrylic based paint pens out there I'm using acrylic paint and acrylic paint markers so don't sway outside the acrylic you know medium 
it just seems to work a little bit more on top of it and everything. I don't really know. I've Every time I've ever used a Sharpie oil-based marker, it's always smudged. So I'm not a really huge fan of the Sharpie uh, paint pens because they're oil-based and not acrylic-based. The best paint pens I've ever used, it has to be Posca pens. So with this technique, I've used it several times on many other little itty bitty paintings. Posca pens definitely work the best. And I think I'm just, I'm trying to spread out the glitter just a little bit more, adding bits and pieces on my little one. This is really messy guys. So if you're gonna add glitter, I mean, it looks beautiful without any glitter, but I wanted glitter because I'm extra like that. <laughs> then get ready for a big mess and take it outside. And I don't know why I just dumped it there. I took it outside. <laughs> That's why I have my big paint like area. I, I went and bought this really pretty poster and made it my paint background so that I could paint all over it and still have a pretty background. I really hope this helped and I hope you will give this whole galaxy modern florals a try. I included all of my supplies throughout the whole video and give it a try guys. It's a lot of fun. Biggest thing to take away from this video is to plan your sketches and your paintings, your paintings <laughs> before you go in and you paint. That's the biggest thing. Plan them out and then paint it. As long as you have a rough sketch or a thumbnail sketch, you will not fail. And if you want to buy this painting, I'm going to put it on my Etsy store or make your own. <laughs> I hope you guys have a most wonderful day.